So when you get students to use a Google Docs form, they can actually, or you can actually, uh, use this script to actually automatically mark the collected data. So really cool tool, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing we're going to do is jump back to um, our Google Documents account here, or Google Drive account. And at the top here, I have that test form we looked at last video. So I'll open that up. And, or actually... I already have it open up here in a tab. Let's take a peek. And in there you'll see that entry I made in the last video. Um, you'll notice that between the last video and this video I've added two new questions as well just to uh, give us little examples. So I'm going to get rid of that first entry and I'm going to come up to the form menu and I'm going to go to the live form. So this is the address where your students are going to actually go to input their data. But what I suggest you do is before you get your students to enter their information, you input the correct solutions because the Flubaroo script is going to need the correct solutions to actually mark your assessment. So if let's say uh, answer the part or to this first question is C, what website you're going to after this video will say the correct answer is tap on the teamminds.com and the answer to five plus four is nine. And now I'll go ahead and submit. And from here, just for um, sake of the uh, example here, I'm going to submit a couple more responses just to give you an idea. So we'll say Tom, oops, Tom Smith. We'll say he did question A. He's going to visit the website and he knows five plus four. We'll submit that. We'll do one more here. And the best part is, is that you can mark as many students as, as you'd like. There's no restrictions. So we'll say Cindy Smith twins in the class here. She got C correct. Google.com and we'll say she did, uh, she messed up. She did eight for five plus four and that'll be our data. And remember this is all real time. So as students are entering this, you on your own computer in the classroom can see this information coming into the computer. So it gives you an idea as to, uh, you know how students are doing and it also gives you a quick um, a quick idea as to whether maybe you need to spend a little bit of time with the students on the particular questions taking it up so something else we can do here um, if we go ahead and there we go uh, sorry under tools is where we're going to get some scripts going but also here I could so show a summary of responses so Currently, I have three responses. It shows me the names, and it also shows me some graphs as well and some information. So it's nice that really quickly you can uh, you can see um, how things are going even before you actually edit. So I'll get out of that. So once again, that was under form and uh, show summary of responses. What we're going to do is we're going to insert a script to actually mark this particular form. So here's a script gallery. We're going to grab Fluberu. We'll search for it. There it is. It's a free, easy to use tool that allows teachers to quickly grade and analyze assessments or assignments. Let's install that. And once that's installed, we'll actually run the script. And it's all pretty self explanatory. Here it's just saying that uh, we're authorizing this script to access the spreadsheets okay so obviously in order for them to, to mark it they have to be able to access it so if it's any um, data that's uh, you know there's privacy issue or anything like that then obviously you might want to uh, look into that a little further and that is now installed so I'm going to close that out and now you should notice at the top we have a Fluberoo option and I'm going to click on that and we're going to click on grade a lot of times the first time you run it it'll say you you can now run the script. Sometimes it, uh, you'll have to go back into it and try it one more time, but looks like in this case we're in good shape. So grading. And best part is you can, uh, you know, if let's say a question didn't go so well or it was too tough, you can obviously uh, decide to skip grading it. In this case, we've got identifying the students. If you want one question to be worth more than another, Okay, you can change that. I'm just going to make them one point each. And we'll continue. And it'll actually go and add a sheet. And 
use whichever solutions you'd like. So I'm going to click on my solutions. These are going to be what they'll use as the correct solutions. They'll also not include this in the final report. So that's why I always say you want to put in your solutions. Don't use a student um, because that student won't have their mark um, graded. And I know with my program, my mark book, I can actually import spreadsheet data. So it, it makes uh, using these marks very, very simple. So grading's complete. Let's view the grades. So here you go. It gives you a rundown of the two students here, total points. So Tom got two, Cindy got one. It also gives you a summary of the class. So the average number of points. And also, this is a big one too here, how many times the student submitted. It'll always take the last submission by that particular student. So if they do uh, make a mistake and they want to go back and fix it, they can always resubmit, and this will take the most recent submission. So, so taking a look here, you can see where they got their points and where they didn't. And you now have a nice grade, uh, grade tab over here. Okay, You can also go back and still look at the student submissions, the actual data as well. Best part is, now that this form is created, Flubaroo is installed. I can use this from semester to semester, from even period to period. So if I have a first period class and a third period class that have um, that are the same course, um, I can grade it in first period. I can delete all the entries, do it again, or I can grade it all at once. It really doesn't matter. Um, it'll, it'll keep collecting data for you. All right, so that's your uh, tutorial on Flubaroo. Um, hopefully you'll, you'll follow us um, and check out our blog and, and join the mailing list. Thank you and uh, we'll talk to you soon.